Hey everybody, Shannon here from Line Star here with Tyler Weeman, and we are going to break down the Line Star app to help you optimize your lineup, whether you're playing daily fantasy or placing some bets. Mm -hmm. It's a great tool to help you out and help you win some money because that's what it's all about. You got to be in it to win it, and we're here to help you. Remember to lock in your subscription to Line Star now, $19.99. Those prices do go up for football season, mm -hmm. so just make sure to lock in that price now by subscribing. We'll drop the link below. But a great tool, football season's right around the corner. I know you guys have fantasy football drafts coming mm -hmm. up, so this is a great tool that will help you out. And Tyler over here has won some money in some of these bigger contests, so he'll give you some tips as we go through the Line Star app to take a look at the different things he does and his mm -hmm. tools for success. So let's pull up the Line Star app on our website here, linestarapp.com. And then we'll go into our projections. And this is for our baseball slate for today. You can see in the left-hand side up here, there is a pull-down menu for what, which contest you're playing in DraftKings and all the games on the slate for that day. Mm -hmm. You can switch to whatever slate you're looking at um, if you're – just playing for the night games, you can mm -hmm. change it out to that. But looking at the, her projections page, Tyler, why don't you give us some advice on kind of how you go about building your lineup? All right. For me, how I like to build my lineups, I always like to start at the ownership tab, mm -hmm. which is on the left-hand side about halfway down. There you go. And now, you know, it's split up by, by category and by position. Mm -hmm. I like to start with the pitchers. As you can see here, we have the pitchers ownership and we see Aaron Nola and Logan Gilbert are much higher owned than everybody else. So with that data alone, I'm not doing too much, but I'm kind of making mental notes of it. And there is a tab on the projection page where you can see it too if you forget, but I like to just start here and go, go through that. And then after looking at this, I will click on the offense just to see what stacks are going to be the highest owned. So when we scroll down here, we can kind of see that the Cubs and the Reds are taking a majority of the ownership here. So again, I'm just going to note that that's, you know, one of the higher owned plays. I'm probably not going to want a lineup with the Cubs and Logan Gilbert and Nola as my main core mm -hmm. of the lineup just because everybody is going to have that. So, you know, may, if I want the Cubs, maybe only have one of those two pitchers yeah. and kind of decide from there. But after I'm done with this page, I will go to the projection page and then click the pitcher tab to look at the two high-owned pitchers a little more in depth. And then what I will click down, look at Aaron Nolas to expand that player card to the full length so I can really see all of the detail and the data on him. And I do this first to see if there's a reason I should play him or fade him. With him high ownership, I'm usually looking at it more skeptically and seeing if I can fade him. Mm -hmm. So now if you kind of scroll over to the right a little bit more, you can see all of his data, his alert score. We have a five-star alert score for him. And you can see as a whole, he has been very good. There's a lot of green. Green means mm -hmm. good. Yep, red, a lot of good there. Red means bad. So his fly balls are a little bit high, but pretty much everything else is good. You don't have to look into him too much. The one thing you did see is on the very far right, his opponent batting average wasn't great. Okay. So that could be a reason to fade him if I wanted to. After looking at uh, going through all the pitchers, mm -hmm. you know, I'll start to kind of formulate who I like to play, who I don't. And I will go over to the daily matchup tool. Now, the daily matchup tool is a great tool. It will be ranked. It'll come up ranked from best matchup to worst and... Obviously, the hitters at the top are the guys, you know, you should really focus on on playing. Uh, the same thing with the pitchers. Mm -hmm. And that is where I like to click first with the daily matchup tool because it can show the projected lineups for everyone. 
And again, we have the same color-coded thing, so it makes it a little easier to see. Obviously, green, green. good. We like green. Red, bad. <laughs> so looking Logan Gilbert here. He looks great. Lion Star is showing that he has a really good matchup. Well, let's take a look at And if we look at Hendricks with the Cubs, now you see some really good BVP data for mm -hmm. Joey Votto. So for Hendricks, that's bad. So that's why it's in red. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if this was the hitter's tool, then the Joey Votto that. stuff would be green. Mm -hmm. So Joey Votto is obviously somebody you may want to put into a lineup or a prop bet. Oh, yeah. I like to use this tool for prop bets. And you can see basically Votto kind of owns Hendricks in mm -hmm. their um, appearances. That's a big number, 552. It is. It so, is. So good tool there. Yeah. And so that first, first column is the BVP data. The next one is going to be the pitcher versus the lineup. Mm -hmm. And the last one is the lineup versus the pitcher. Mm -hmm. And again, all broken down, color coded. So it's very easy to read and to understand what's good and what's bad. Exactly. Just it's like a candy cane, but yeah. it's a very helpful candy cane <laughs> very for your true. daily fantasy. Love to see that. All right. So that's our pitcher tool. Mm -hmm. um, maybe look back through the hitters because I love this one particularly. Yes. And we both use this mm -hmm. for when we pick out our home run calls and our prop bets. If you guys watch the On Deck podcast, which you can do every day, Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. So yeah. a little pre -snap plug there. Pre-snap podcast come pre football season. Got to watch all our podcasts. Back to the Line Star app here. Um, this is ranking them by who has the best matchup. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called the Daily Matchup Tool. And you can see here, obviously, George Springer, a lot of green for him as you mm -hmm. go. What I also like to do sometimes is just sort by, okay, who's faced a certain pitcher the most, and it'll be 30 plated. So I can see kind of similarly to what we looked mm -hmm. at with the pitcher side of things, you can look at that from the hitter's point of view as well. So if there's a guy that has a lot of plate appearances against a certain pitcher and has good numbers, I like to look into that particular mm -hmm. for a prop bet maybe. And you can actually click any of the names, mm -hmm. any of the players' names on here to pull up their yeah. full player card. Mm -hmm. And there you have so, it. So, yeah. And by scrolling down, you get mm -hmm. more of the data also. The really nice thing about LionStar is there is nowhere that is easy to read and digest the data. Um, no, Just nobody does it better than LionStar. Right. I mean, it's everything in one spot, so you mm -hmm. don't have to have a million tabs going. I mean, this mm -hmm. has, has everything. So I like also the kind of little emojis. Mm -hmm. Get a smiley face. Use it. Alert. Roger Center gives you some alerts. Yep, the great alert five score star is alert great. score, mm -hmm. um, and then it'll tell you exactly why batting first. You know that helps. That's helpful too for prop bets. Like, mm -hmm. hey, this is why he's got an alert score. All right, maybe we're looking at, you know, a certain hitter prop or yeah. Uh, with baseball, the batting order does matter. Those mm -hmm. people will have the higher likelihood of getting at bat more which is obviously helpful for fantasy or for props. Mm -hmm. more you're at bat, the more chances you have to score points. And how about the thumbs up, thumbs down? Mm -hmm. Do you guys remember the thumbs up, thumbs guy down for the Yankees? Uh, he was a Rays fan, and he, would, he went like this. Anyways, a um, little cult, cult favorite for the Yankees fans over here. All right. but, uh, we're talking George Springer and this thumbs up, thumbs down mm -hmm. tool. What do you like about it? So the liking and disliking is good for – a couple different facets. One, you can actually search through our system to see who is the most liked or who is most disliked so you can get an idea of what the community likes. Mm -hmm. The other thing is liking or disliking will have an effect on the optimizer. If you like it, you're going to get a little bit of a uh, projection boost so that player is in the lineup more. Mm -hmm. If you dislike it, it's going to take them out of your lineups. Yeah, so helpful tool. I would say that you can um, click on the pitchers also if you're looking at them and bring up that player card as well. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I was saying you could do it on the daily matchup tool on on the on the, on the batters batter side mm -hmm. also. So yep. if you are looking at this and you just need to quickly look at one of those mm -hmm. hitters, it's possible by just clicking that. All right, so we're on the projections page here. Now we 
You might want to stack because that is a very popular yes. strategy in daily fantasy. Stacking is super important. And when we are building lineups, so let's go to the stack. Mm -hmm. And for cool. baseball, for I always like to do a five-man stack for mm -hmm. DraftKings. Five. And so we have clicked five already. We have the gap size. Being at the largest gap, we allow with two. And now what is showing right now is our highest projected stacks. Mm -hmm. We can also filter by the best value if mm -hmm. you want. There we go. We can... Um, so so as value. you can see, we have Milwaukee and Pittsburgh kind of popping up as the best value. Now, this is something to kind of take in consideration. If you want to play high owned or high priced pitchers, you may want to look more so at your value stacks. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to pay, play a little cheaper mm -hmm. uh, pitchers, then you would probably go more of the higher projected. For us, let's go to the higher projected because those batters are a little more fun, mm -hmm. bigger names. Mm -hmm. We have Springer. We have Bichette. Vladdy. Vladdy, all in the same lineup. So we'll just click that highest projected one. If you see the uh, ownership is only at 70%, which isn't that high for five players together. Okay. We'll add that stack. Mm -hmm. And then they, you'll see they pop up right there. And that is our lineup optimizer, which you can also reach by clicking right there in the left yes our stack is there yeah now this is an expensive stack so it's gonna be hard to get the two top pitchers what we can do here is we can either just hit optimize and see what uh you know it spits out mm -hmm. or if there is one pitcher we really want to play we can just hit that lock button to get him in the lineup and then optimize so oh, is it gonna there we go all right that was easy yeah and then so we can scroll down here and then hit optimize and it's going to make as many lineups as you want right. with this there's we, a lot, ton of different settings here yeah so we have it already set up to 20 mm -hmm. and we can optimize there there we go. And now we have our 20 lineups with Aaron Nola and that Blue Jays stack. On this, we can kind of sort through. We can sort through the projections. We can sort through the ownership and really figure out kind of what lineups we want or even if you want to make a little adjustment. Mm -hmm. So as we can see here, it is still forcing in a lot of the two two very high priced pitchers what means is those the last three hitters are all going to be really cheap mm -hmm. so one i would say start with looking through to see if you like this lineup construction if you don't you can start kind of making little tweaks and or just i don't want or I don't like that one exactly Didn't or like just straight up <laughs> delete some into the trash um but pretty cool there and Again, you can make it up to 150 lineups mm -hmm. and just start scrolling through. And I believe right here, you can delete all of them before, all of them after. It's uh, just an easy way so you don't have mm -hmm. to go through and delete every single one. Like, let's say you, you've settled on one and then you can just get rid of yep. everything after. And what you can do is you could also, you know, if you delete a bunch of them, but there's five you really like, then you can create another group of 20 mm -hmm. and you can merge that five you like with a new group of 20. You can really kind of make it your own, get those lineups that you really want to make and you think yeah. could win you some money. Yep. So you could send it back to work on it a little bit more yeah. by sending it to your lineup builder. And then if you click this button in the on the right here, you can change the one of the players out mm -hmm. if you want you can take that player out of all of your lineups you can do whatever you want with it so super customizable so you can make the lineups you want in the way you want them line star is just your canvas mm -hmm. to create a masterpiece yep <laughs> you know, there, there's a lot of strategy in dfs and we're really trying to let you optimize the way you want and dominate those contests and you can also go back uh, and for research purposes, go back historically, see, mm -hmm. you know, test out different strategies for different days and see 
oh, maybe I have this thought that maybe this stack will work mm -hmm. or, you know, you can try different things and on different days and just test it out um, and just do some strategy research as well, which is kind of fun as well. Oh, it is. There, There's a ton of you, ton you can do by looking back at what you have done. Mm -hmm. Lionstar will save all that stuff so you can look at your old lineups too. Yep. So... And then again, all this different sports, mm -hmm. of course, football's coming up. So yep. you're going to want to tune in for that. And of course, you can check out, huh, there's there's a nice little tab there to check out the On Deck podcast. Yes. How neat is that? Mm -hmm. uh, it's also the newsletter where you can uh, see what our staff are saying about the best plays mm -hmm. for the day. And of course, your player updates, ownership. There's just a ton of tools. We'll try to make some more videos to mm -hmm. break down each individual one. Um, but just that's kind of just a broad overview of the Line Star app. Just so much to help you with in your daily fantasy and for your prop bets. Um, so yeah, be sure to check out uh, more of our videos. We've got a lot coming out lately. And so be mm -hmm. sure to like and subscribe and comment below on any other videos you want to see. If we talked about something that maybe you don't understand or have questions on, just drop a comment below. We're here to help you. Good luck in all of your daily fantasy. Anything else to add? Yeah, and if you like what you see here, you know, visit linestarapp.com or download our apps in the App Store. Okay, all right. Good luck to you guys in fantasy. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Thanks, guys. Bye.